Hello, Master Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to another edition of Toe Tag Thursdays. This video series is dedicated to nothing but when things go bad, things get dark, and things get ugly out there. And sometimes violence finds us, and the only way to deal with it is with violence in return. We want to make sure that we're going to get home to our loved ones at no matter what the cost. So, being that I'm in Florida, we get a lot of rain down here. So half the times it's either raining, lightning storms, thunderstorms. The other half the times it's hot as hell and the sun's beating down on us. So one of the things a lot of people carry are umbrellas. Now I'm going to use a full length umbrella today and I'm going to cover it with this one. And what's good about an umbrella here in Florida, obviously, gets the rain off you and it also keeps the sun off you. So a lot of people carry it for two different reasons. Now, if you don't have a gun or a concealed permit and you're not carrying your gun and you're not carrying a blade, this is another great tool that you can use as an improvised weapon. Now, I'm going to be using this bob today versus my student bob because I want to hit this thing pretty hard. Now, what's good about an umbrella is I'm going to use it like a big staff. If I had a cane or a longer stick, same thing. I'm going to use this. I'm not going to open this umbrella for that. I would keep it closed. And if I happen to have it open, I'm back enough that I would close it and I would go from there. But a lot of times I'll see people carrying it when it's closed and they have it just in case they need it. If you're getting out of your car, you're walking somewhere, you have something you carry with you, no one's going to say nothing about it and they're not going to even think twice. So what's good about this umbrella is the fact that I'm going to show you three spots that we're going to hit with it that are pretty devastating to the body. One of them, obviously, I want to go to, and I'm a big fan of destroying soft tissue on an individual. If i got to put somebody down, soft tissue area is a lot of times where you want to go. And when I'm talking soft tissue, most of you know I'm talking about the throat. I'm going to collapse that right there. I'm going to hit them in that trachea and collapse it. One of the things I can do with an umbrella simply is I can simply jam it right into that throat area, crushing it, or stepping on one side and hitting it like that. Once they start ah, regurgitating, gagging, looking for oxygen, that's going to give me time to leave. Is there a strong chance of collapsing that throat and killing them? Yes. But you know what? If they're trying to kill you, rape you, beat you, even if they're beating you, because they're not trying to kill you, but they're beating you, trying to get your wallet or purse or something. You know what? Blunt trauma can kill you. You slip, fall, hit your head, you're dead. So would you rather try to hash this out with authority later or be a statistic on the back end of a morgue? Well, you pick that one. It's up to you. So if I got that opportunity and I have that umbrella and I, they're trying to grab me and I move those hands around, I'm going to hit them in the throat with such aggression. Another thing I want to do is using the tip. I'm going to enter the gateway of the eyes. Besides being a big fan of knowing if they can't breathe, they can't fight. If they can't see, they can't find me. And I know they have two eyes, but when I take one eye, that pain's going to be real excruciating. From here, I'm simply going to jam that right into that eye socket. Bam, and I'm going to right into their eye. Is it violent? Yes, but again, they're trying to to do something to me, whether it's kill me, abduct me, or rape me, doesn't matter. They're violating me, they're being violent to me, and I'm gonna give them violence back. So, their eyes is another great one. I don't wanna to try to hit them at the top of the head, it may skim. I don't wanna to try to hit them in the chest, stomach. They may be really fat and can take it or really muscular strong, or they may be wearing a lot of winter wear. Florida, we don't really sweat that too much. So I'm going to hit for that third. I'm going to take that eye. Third place, I would hit them. Back into this, which is strong. Right in the temple. I'm going to hit them in the temple. We know a lot of people have been killed from hitting, hitting the temple. Bad things happen. Well, you know what? Again, they're trying to kill me. I'm not worried about them right now. I'm worried about me. I step to one side. I'm simply going to bash that temple. I'm going to drop them. I have that opportunity, I'm going to ram it or hit him right across the head with it. Now I'm turning this into a blunt force weapon. Again, I'm not telling you to go out and kill, but if someone's trying to kill you and you need to defend yourself and you don't have a lot of training 
and you need something quickly and you need to find out where to hit, throat, collapse it, collapse it. This fits perfectly here. Eyes, take that vision, hit them, take that vision. Jam that in their eye socket. Harder part of that umbrella. Hit that temple, just hit it. Smash it, drop them. Whatever it takes to get you home. Gary Hernandez, thank you. And I'll see you guys next Thursday.